You're what the fuck is up? Jesus Christ, Chris. <laughs> Jeez, people don't want to hear you cursing up top, man. I'm sorry, guys. I came off very aggressive. How are you? Hello. Sub podcast episode number 70, 79. 79. <laughs> uh, Chris. Lawrence is here. Yeah, we're in the car. We're, we're, in, the whip, we're, in, a, we're in a whip. We're recording because Lawrence Deloach, uh, his Sundays are extremely busy, and Lawrence plays basketball and gambles and uh, does fancy football. And Chris was out of town, uh, so we decided, hey, we're gonna fucking do a car cast. Car cast, baby. This car. is the second car cast. Car, second car cast. Did we uh, say it was a car cast the first time? We no, did we it? did not tell the people, so that's why you didn't have to say that. But it's the second car cast. It is a <laughs> it is a car cast, and we're we're, ha- we're excited to be here. Uh, we got a lot of shit to get into. Uh, before we do that, I just want to say uh, make sure you follow us at Sup Podcast NYC and LZD three two five and not that. Cheney, C H E N E Y. Uh, <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. And also, you know, rate, review, give us five stars on iTunes. Look Fuck. at my guy promoting us. Promoting us. Yo, join the fucking Discord, yo. We be having, I mean, I get up there every now and again. And um, you go on there to flex. I go on there. Or when I ask you to go on there, you just go, hi, guys, I'm here not to get fined. I'm here not to get fined. <laughs> and then, boom. All right. So, uh, uh, Chris, what do you want to start with? Where do you want to go? I kind of want to, because this is old-ish news, but I kind of want to give a shout-out to Ric Flair for fucking assigning with Adidas. Nature Boy, Ric Nature Fla- Boy. Woo! All right. Whoa. Nature Boy. Woo! All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, that's sick. Dude, because they're just giving contracts to everybody now. They're they're definitely into the to the lifestyle shit, man, from, from Beyonce, Big Sean, you know. All- but I'm just saying in general, man, like any type of per- – it used to be just athletes get contracts. Yeah. Now everybody can get a con- you and I can get a shoe deal. I mean, if we popular enough, yeah, yeah. yeah. He said, and and Flair said, I'm gonna take down Nike. I don't know about that, Rick. No, Flair. he's not. No, you're not gonna take down Nike. But uh, yeah, man, he um, he said I signed a deal with him, and um, he said he's going. He's fixing to make Nike the second brand. It's not gonna be Air Jordan anymore. It's gonna be Air Flair, and I can't jump. <laughs> Air Flair is fire. Air. Flair. Air Flair is fucking fire. Um so I mean so I mean they got a they got a solid lineup, man. They got, you know, they got I mean we talking basketball guys, we got Dame, Harden, you know, and 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 we got fucking Ric Flair. Dead dude. I mean, talk about just not the crossover between entertainer and athlete. Like the wrestling is a perfect kind of Venn diagram of that. Yo, Chris, you don't you don't watch wrestling like that, right? I used to. Um, so I have all of like the, I got four horsemen in me. I got some undertaker. I remember when he fought, uh, fucking, uh, what's mankind jumped off the thing mm-hmm. and he mm-hmm. like went off on the stretch and he came back. You know what I'm talking about? Like mm-hmm. I have like all the old memories, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. NWO, uh, mm-hmm. and then Wolfpack, you know, Degeneration X, mm-hmm. all those guys, sweet chin music. I got all that. Okay. Cause I was going to say, I mean, I watch, uh, I watch wrestling now a little, not too much, but, uh, Kofi, uh, Kingston, is the he's the like the world champion? He's like a big uh, sneaker guy, man. So oh, I don't even know who that is. You don't know who Kofi Kingston is, man. Nah, nah. The newer stuff. I know like Roman Reigns just because of um, my roommate. Like in some like who's the guy? Elias. He's the guy with the guitar. Yeah, I believe Elias is the guy with the guitar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He stinks. But um, <laughs> but yeah, I watched some of that shit. But I don't know who that guy is. But he's well, a big sneaker guy. Oh, big sneaker guy, man. A lot of customs and shit, man. Like I. I see him. Uh, he's flexing with like uh, some Giannis uh, Antetokounmpo's and shit. Uh, oh, he wrestles in. He, him. he wrestles in him, bro. Oh, yeah. whoa, that's fucking weird. Yeah, man. He was he was doing um, the air. He had the adapts and and they were uh, customized and shit. He's wearing uh, Zoom uh, Zoom Galaxy rookies and shit. Yeah, oh, he's, wow. He's a big sneaker. So I mean, so sneakers. I mean, obviously they co- they cross over into all cultures of life, bro. All cultures. So um, remember when um, John Cena was wearing Reebok pumps for a second? Yes, yeah. John Cena started. I mean, he he was another because when he John Cena started out, he was like in the throwback jersey era. So it was like yeah. oversized jerseys and chains. He's the, he's the white fabulous of wrestling. Ah, uh, the white <laughs> fabulous of wrestling. I got a question for you since you brought up Fabulous. A lot yeah. of my friends, they love Fab. They think Fab is the, the, the greatest dressed rapper. Ever. Well, okay. that They're a little absurd. For Some that. of them are like, he's the fucking best dressed rapper in the game. And I'm like, I do not care for his <laughs> fashion. Look, he's top 30 all time to me, probably. Oh, yeah. He's one of the, I mean, he's a great, I mean, he's a great dresser, great dresser, but I feel <laughs> like he is so mismatched, missy matchy. Missy Matchy? Matchy Matchy. 
Oh, matchy matchy. Matchy matchy. Yeah, well, Harlem matchy matchy is kind of a thing that I think he kind of trickled down into. You know what I mean? Because he came up with all those Harlem dudes. Well, I mean, he's a Brooklyn guy though. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, but I'm saying he came up in that time where like he was he was rolling with some of those matchy matchy guys. So mm-hmm. it kind of makes sense that he would it would carry over. It's kind of making sense that it would, yeah, his his style is very like if I'm wearing pink shoes, my top needs to be pink, and I'm like, I got the double pink right now. No, I oh I wasn't a, that wasn't a shot at you. I'm saying like oh. that was just in general like that's yeah fab. I don't think I don't like I think the I mean all right let's let me ask you a question. Who do you think the greatest fashion rapper of all time is? Greatest fashion rapper of like, all time. The greatest like in terms of like damn that fat that dude is fucking fly. Oh yay, Kanye right? It has to be yay. I mean if it's not yay, I mean Jay is up there. Yay Jay. Uh, best dra- Pac. He mm-hmm. had some. He had some. Remember, I mean, Big too. Biggie was fucking. Kooji. Mm-hmm. Put, he kind of put Kooji on the map, at least in the urban market. Mm-hmm. Um, damn, Nas. Mm-hmm. I'm just like brightening off basically New York guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. No one from. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Is there anyone? Oh no! Like yeah, N.W.A. Like easy. I like. Well, do you count that as a one person or as a group? Can I? Can well, I say a group? Who? N.W.A. You can say, I mean, you could, I mean, I, you know. That whole style, like, yo, when they, um, did you watch the movie? The NWA movie? Yeah, I did. After I saw that movie, I was like, yo, all I want to wear is like 90 shit again. Really? <laughs> yeah, because the dumb outfits were fire, dude. Mm, yeah. I was like, I can rock a Dodgers jersey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can wear a Dodgers <laughs> I mean, hip hop, I mean, we all know how influential hip hop is in terms of uh, fashion, so... You know, guys like N.W.A. wearing the Raiders shit back in the, you know, in the 80s and all yeah. that. Yeah, it was pretty, man, it's pretty big, man. So, I mean, rappers are definitely looked at as the guys who, you know, we try to, who people try to emulate in terms of their, uh, their, uh, their fashion. I got a couple guys in terms of rappers that I wanted to know uh, what you think about. Sure. Uh, Pharrell. Oh, he's great. I mean, he's a little on the absurdist. Remember, like, the hat? Well, the hat, yeah. I yeah, mean, I mean, he, he kind of goes all over the place. Like, he'll go show up on red carpet and Bapesters in, like, a double X fucking hoodie. You well, know what I mean? I was going to say, that that's Pharrell. That's why I say about Pharrell. Like, Pharrell's one of those guys who, yeah, it, it, he took the, he took, like, high, not high fashion, but he took, like, certain things. And, uh, like like you said, like, Bape. He was one of the main, the first guys that you were like, oh, shit, this dude is rocking yeah. Bape. And, and then he had BBC and, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, all that shit. Um, Jay. Jay's up there. I mean, he literally changed, uh, like went like how people dressed at one point would change clothes. We said that before. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, he's up there for sure too. He's gotten a lot better over the years too. He's like, I, if he is a stylist now, like he's listening to. I don't know like what he was doing before, but like mm-hmm. he definitely looks like he's very well dressed every time he leaves the house now. Well, I'm sure I mean, Beyonce. I'm, I'm, I was gonna say too. I'm sure I'm sure Beyonce is. Yeah. Like, hey, you're not gonna go out of the house and like a every fucking dude bum. that has the like the like a fucking like stylish chick mm-hmm. like it gets younger with time it's so weird what do you mean so like jay doesn't look like older mm-hmm. you know what i mean like he mm-hmm. kind of looks he's like you know what is he 50 now ish but he looks like a younger dude you mm-hmm. know what i mean mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and even tom brady tom brady Brady's... looks younger now than from when he started i know i know i agree and with you probably because of giselle or whatever fu- like I when you got a, you. when you got a solid chick that knows how to curate mm-hmm. some some style like mm-hmm. yo all the dudes end up fucking looking fly at the end mm-hmm. no i agree with you mm-hmm should I, oh, should we talk about Antonio Brown? We well, can we'll, talk about. We'll, we'll shelf that. Keep going with the rappers. Wale, <laughs> Wale is good. Phone posit king. I don't know if he is now still, but he's up there. Yeah, he's good. He's top twenty best dressed. Cam. Oh, Cam's a legend. I mean, n- I mean now I don't know. He kind of dresses like whatever now. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, though, I mean that's where we got the, all the. Pink became a thing because of him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Although Prodigy allegedly said it was because he saw him at a pink polo, but that's fine. <laughs> Rest right. in peace. Rest in peace. All right, cool. So, I mean, Chris, you you seem like you're itching to talk about AB, man. And um, and what's your what's your opinion? What's your thoughts? What do no, you... I'm just bummed because we fucking had the team, dude. We were gonna trample over everybody. So, for those of you listeners, I mean, who aren't aware of what's going on with uh, Antonio Brown, he's uh, he was he's, dropped. He was he's he was or he is. He's not dead, but he's a uh, he uh, a NFL. Well, he was an NFL wide receiver, <laughs> and and he uh, he played with the Pittsburgh Steelers, and things did not go well uh, after he was, he was with Pittsburgh for around I think like six seven years, and then he uh, then he ended up going to the um, the Raiders, for, Raiders, yeah, for a couple uh, draft picks, right? Or some uh, shit? Yeah, and then you know things didn't go well there, and then he uh, you know he kind of forced his way out, 
and then he ended up going to the New England Patriots, and everyone was like, "Oh my God, this is uh, this is amazing!" You know, he fucking he cheated the system, and he, and he's showing the world that who he is. And uh, and then he was there for uh, basically around two weeks. He was there for four quarters. He was there for <laughs> he played one game, and then he was released. And it goes, it's a bigger issue to me because you know he, um, I think it's athletes and social media. I think it's you know people feeling like they're above the system, and the uh, the the ability for him to just shut the fuck up. And even this morning, I don't know if you looked at his Twitter, but he was basically, you know, talking about, you know, his former teammates that were, you know, caught up in uh, rape allegations, uh, Ben yeah. Roethlisberger. And he talked about the owner of the Patriots, Robert Kraft. And, um, Bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. And um, <laughs> and I think it's just like, hey, man, I know you may be done. You may not want to play anymore, but you still, you know, you, you, you got to chill. Like, he was threatening one of his accusers, man. Well, did you read those texts? I didn't think they came off very. I jacked my dick on her back. That was the first one. Oh, I didn't see that one. <laughs> yeah, that was he. Uh, he said, I jacked my dick on your back. You know what I mean? And he just kept going and he called all sorts of names. Oh, I just saw the one where they were like, uh, oh, like he was like in a group chat with a bunch of people and they were like the NFL was investigating those. And I didn't even want to really get into all this. I just wanted to see where you were at with your fantasy shit because I knew you drafted him. I shit. dropped him. I had to drop him on Friday, man. You know, he, he, I had to, man. It was. It was uh, it just wasn't going well, and um, I was like, "Hey, man, I gotta gotta get rid of him, bro," and I did. Yeah, this shit was crazy, though, man. Fucking no. And the other thing I wanted to mention too. So, like, all right, so mm. with, with the we touched on this when um, Royce, 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 yeah, man. Royce. We were talking about production stuff with him. Remember how I was breaking it down? Like, mm-hmm. it's kind of hard to maneuver all this shit when mm-hmm. people are moving around, changing and shit. So mm-hmm. now, just in this one instance with this one guy. Um, Antonio Brown, that being, mm-hmm. I went from designing a hood from him on the Steelers to mm-hmm. then trying to m- convert one into a Raiders one, mm-hmm. and then I had to redo the whole thing for the Patriots, and now he's not even in the NFL. Now he's not even in the NFL. For this mm-hmm. one guy, <laughs> I've had to make three different hoods. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure they sent two of them into production. I think we were about to find. I'm supposed to go there tomorrow. I think we we're going to finalize the rest of the line, and then they would have set the shit for production on the, a third one. But now mm-hmm. it's like, imagine how many companies. Had to rush for this guy, and now he's just gone forever. He's gone. Now he's not even gonna play. Yeah, because he tweeted this morning that he's not playing in the NFL. And yeah. He, so you know, like I said, it's 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 very uh, it's a lot of, um, uh, it's just it's <laughs> guy. You know, he, he basically he messed out on thirty million dollars with the Raiders, and uh, and fifteen million dollars with the Patriots. And, yeah. Um, so you blow through forty five million dollars, and he has you know most he has like five kids. And um, it's just not a good look. No, that's it's, not a good it's look very, at all. It's very sad, um, you know, that that this that he can't keep his shit together. And that I think that's that's the moral of the story. For any listeners out there, listeners out there, don't fuck up forty five million dollars. That is it, man. <laughs> so wait, is he still in like Madden? Yeah, right. I'm sure he's in Madden as a free agent. I don't think his likeness has been removed. Uh, because I don't know if it's it's not like an Aaron Hernandez like where he murdered people situation. Yes, it's true. And you know you basically remove his likeness from or like a Ray Carruth where I don't know if you remember Ray Carruth. No, but, I don't remember Ray. So Spooly. he basically he uh his uh he got a girl pregnant and um nice dude. Uh, well the story gets a lot worse. Okay. And um and then he didn't want her to I guess keep the baby, so he uh he hired a guy to kill her. No Yes, this is like in the nineties, yeah. And Damn um, dude. Yeah, and then he um and then uh, basically the 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 guy who he hired shot the girl. She ended up dying, but I she made a phone call, I guess when she was getting shot, she was like, Ray did this or some shit like that. Like Oh damn and then um the son was born but he was obviously born with you know some some problems hold on for a second he was born with some hold on what's up phil it's lawrence (laughs) phil i'll see you in a second i'll see you in a minute i'm coming i'm recording my podcast i'll be there in a minute all right we're live we're We're live. live we're doing a podcast all right, Phil. Nice to meet you, Phil. So, um... <laughs> he just started yelling police. Yeah, I know. Phil's crazy. Uh, yeah, so, 
Um, like I was saying. Um, <laughs> Why did you? There was no need to do that. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted him to know that I was there so I can play early. I don't want to wait. Uh, <laughs> or what else you got? Keep oh it going, yeah, baby. So what were we saying? So uh, <laughs> we were talking about very bad. We can just move on. Oh right, yeah. So yeah, so <laughs> we, can, we can move on. No. So what I'm saying is the NFL. Uh, I'm sure he's in the game, Madden. I don't think he's been removed. He hasn't like com- he has been arrested for. He's just been kicked off the team. So uh, moving on. Let's, yeah, just uh, to get off of this because that, that was a weird. That got really deep. That man. was not. You know, that's just, uh, <laughs> oh boy. Um, so did you did you actually check out that that brand I sent you last night? Uh, I checked out a little bit of it. Yo, so. I mean, some of you guys, some of the listeners may know um, already, but there's a brand called uh, Clearweather. I w- was very unfamiliar with them. I saw them for the first time last night, mm-hmm. just like perusing fucking Instagram and shit. Mm-hmm. And dude, I fucking love this brand. These guys are fucking awesome. Dude, these one, this one shoe, the Aries, this shit, mm-hmm. the Clearweather Aries. Like, yo, the second I get two hundred bucks that I could just throw away, I'm fucking copping these. These are fire. But I guess they're just like a small um, Cali brand. That uh, it's like basically a startup shoe company. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they've been ro- along for uh, around for very long, like 2014. Okay. Yeah, it's like a family-owned footwear company, but I just love to see this whole thing because it's like, um, oh, I gotta kind of skip all over the place for a second here, because so the same time I like the same day I found out about these guys, there was uh, an article I saw where the headline was about how Amazon's just ripping off Allbirds brand. Okay. Um. And uh, I guess Kohl's ripped them off too, but it was just so crazy because like Allbirds is another small company. Mm-hmm. Are you familiar with them? They have like the script font. I'm sure you've seen it before. Mm-hmm. Um, no, they're a smaller brand. It's not net really you and I style a shoe, mm-hmm. but um, they're just getting ripped off like left and right. So like, how can you grow in a market where everyone's just ripping you off when you got Amazon and people like Kohl's and some of these major market people just trying to get you? Trying to get you, yeah, yeah. I mean, they all kind of look like 350s. Not gonna lie. Well, these lies look like Adidas. Some of these do. Some like the Interceptor New Moon. Oh, you're talking about the clear weather. Yeah, clear weather. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of these. I mean, even like their skate shoes look exactly like Vans. Um, so I. I well, no, I, they're all they're all clear weather. I'm just saying the, the actual name of it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I mean the yeah. But it was just it was it's just so crazy to me because like these guys seem like they're doing a pretty good job, and then Allbirds is getting ripped off, and they can't really get off the ground. Gotcha. Okay. Allbirds is doing pretty good. Um, as far as uh, you know getting around and mm. you know you having a good margin mm-hmm. but yeah man i was just i just want to shout them out because this is such a good shoe the, at least the aries and they had a couple other good ones but it's like i don't know how you could start a shoe company and that that's sort of uh more like in the sneaker market that's not supposed to be high end and you're not doing weird shit that gotcha. to get anywhere like because everyone's just going to rip you off the second you get something nice mm-hmm. and you have like adidas and nike that could do their own flip on their shit i mean nike's even just taking puma technology so it's like I just wanted to shout them out. That's it. Yeah, I like I like some of the shoes. They uh they look yeah. really uh they look really nice. Yeah, man. But yeah, that all birds thing was kind of crazy hot. If you want to let, let me show you. I got a link that I could pull up for the article. Um do do do. Yeah, these ones right here. So you see what I'm saying? I'll post a uh, a picture of these too. So that on the left is the rip if on the right is their shoe. Jesus Christ. It it looks definitely like uh yeah, it looks exactly the same. And then I was talking um, to one of my friends who works at Louis Vuitton about these, and then he sent me a link about the Coles one. And the Coles one's an exact ripoff, like it to the T. Like I'll, maybe I'll put all these links in the description and shit. Mm-hmm. But man, dude, it's like I don't know how you can get anywhere if you want to start a shoe company. Speaking of speaking of Louis Vuitton, did you see the uh, the uh, pre uh, spring summer twenty twenty collection? Yeah, I did kind of look at that. They got the, that clear high top shoe or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean it's all kind of whatever to me. It definitely uh, it gives me um, I don't know, man. Virgil just takes shit from everything. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that Louis? Um, they're gonna make you know how they make the trophy cases for the soccer league? Yeah. They're gonna start doing that for League of Legends. Jeez, really? Yeah. If you guys don't know about this, or if you're a newer listener, like about a year ago, Lawrence and I were on a CBS sports show, um, and one of the parts of the show was a segment about esports, specifically about basketball, mm-hmm. um, and how like the NBA has an official Knicks basketball team mm-hmm. that's playing for the you know that plays for 2K or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's just so weird how now, dude, like ten years ago, mm-hmm. I was traveling in a sweaty fucking van with a bunch of nerd fucking 
you know, mm-hmm. whatever, all over the East Coast to play Super Smash Brothers. Mm-hmm. We had to bring our own TVs. We had to do everything. It's just so crazy that, like, to now. Nowadays, no. Yo, you, you got arenas, bro. You can go mm-hmm. fucking watch people play League of Legends in an mm-hmm. arena. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Madison Square Garden, I'm pretty sure there's an event that you could go watch people play video games in Madison Square Garden. Mm-hmm. That shit is fucking bananas. But, yeah, now Louis Vuitton is going to make the case for their trophy <laughs> for the League of Legends for esports. Huh, Virgil Abloh. Virgil Ablo. His um his water bottle is getting restocked too. That Evian one. Oh really? Yeah. You guess how much they are? How much? Fifty five bucks for a water bottle. For a fucking water bottle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh he's if there's anyone that is killing it, I don't, I've never seen a designer kill it as hard as him. In terms of yeah, in terms of putting himself up yeah, I agree with you on that too. I mean just the 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 spread of his checks. Yeah. Just the, how many different angles he's gotten a different check from people. And for doing not a lot. Not a lot. Just, I agree with you. I totally agree with you on that, bro. I mean, I, so you you got, you got like Lorenzo, right? I like, Loren- I like Jerry Lorenzo. Yeah, so like, I, can you think of any other designers that are doing just as good as Virgil is or did? I can't. Uh, I don't include, like, I don't want to say Tinker that's been like worked at one place. You mm-hmm. know, been only doing been one thing. Kind of people that have been spread around. I mean, Murakami's been all over the place, too. But I just can't think of someone who's got this much notoriety for doing so little, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, Mark Jacobs? Are we... Are we? Yeah, you can say Mark. You can say Mark. Um, Mark Jacobs was good. I mean, fucking... Damn. There's so many fucking... Well, do we include graffiti artists? Cut. Cause, Keith Haring. Mm-hmm. It's weird because I don't know if I consider them in the same vein of a, as a designer as Virgil. As Vir- yeah, a Virgil. I mean, like I said, you know, I just saw a picture of Virgil from like 2010 where he was at a fashion show with Kanye, and it just looked like he was like Kanye's little drug dealing looking friend, and then <laughs> now Virgil is like at the top. You know? Did he used to sell drugs? No, I'm just saying his like drug dealing looking friend. <laughs> Allegedly, come on, man. <laughs> Allegedly, yeah, that'd be fire if you. <laughs> yeah, I told you, man. I'm. I keep. I keep saying this, man. I got the Sakai's in, bro. Shoe of the year. Fuck. Fuck the Travs. The way they put together. Yeah, you like them a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You went in the Discord and flexed them, and then left. Literally, you just went in the Discord. You were like, "Yo, check out these," and then dip. <laughs> Hold when on. you posted the photo. Oh sh- yeah, I, I did that and then I dipped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold up for one second. Oh man, hold up. Yeah, I just kind of dipped. Just cover me for one second. All right, I'll cover you. Um, actually, so speaking of Travis Scott, um, I guess uh, they're not getting um, any more release locations. Like you, you're not. They're not. The releases that were happening are the only ones that are going to happen. I, I think they were supposed to get into more stores. They're going to get in some tier zeros, but I guess they pulled that. So if you have them, keep them. And hold on to them for a while before you sell them. Because they're not coming out again. Keep them to yourself. <laughs> don't don't sell those. Yeah, the, the, the low tops. Yeah, the lows. Yeah. That's a rumor I read. Uh, so well, that, they, people were saying that we were gonna get a, they were going to get a, an, another release. but Yeah, no. no I, what I read was that they're not getting shit. Mm-hmm. So if you got them, then hold on to them. Keep them together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know if you saw, Lawrence, but the, um, the Lafayette Supreme Store... Dunzo, baby. I heard, man. It's I, over. It's over, man. So I guess it was um to alleviate some of the like uh, issues with the lines and shit. So mm. it was more of like a, a crowd. They're trying to deal with the crowds that mm. come into the store. So they're like, nope, we'll get rid of you. We'll keep Brooklyn. And then Bowery will be the fucking flagship. But that's over. The original over, location well. is done, done. Shit. I mean, that's kind of crazy to think about. They lasted this long. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it got to the point where they literally, not because they couldn't sell anything, it's because pe- too many people were coming to the store. Sure. They're like, we need to move. We need to move. Jeez, man. Have you been to the Brooklyn one? Yes, I have. That's the one with the, the skate park. Yeah, yeah, skate park, yeah. Damn. It's pretty nice. I haven't been to that one yet. Yeah, it's pretty nice in there, bro. I gotta go check it out. Yeah, check that shit out, man. Should I wear the Supreme Italia shirt when I go in there? Uh, No. <laughs> No, that'd be kind of fire. <laughs> that would be, but no. <laughs> um, but what do you got? You you had something that was coming down the pipeline, right? Megan the fucking stallion, bro. She trademarked Hot Girl Summer. 
Remember when Le- LeBron tried to trademark Taco Tuesday? Taco Tuesday. Yeah, they're like, LeBron, people have been having tacos on Tuesdays for uh, 3,569 mm-hmm. years. You can't mm-hmm. just have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't trademark t- Taco Tuesday. <laughs> it's impossible. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, good for Megan. I don't know why. That's a, You get three months out of that trademark. I don't know what else you're going to do with it. Nah, bro. That shit, I mean, you're not just three months, bro. Like, you got next summer. It's in general, bro. Anytime someone. No, I mean, I know, but it's like, you. it's not, you can't be promoting Hot Girl Summer in February. Doesn't matter. Bro, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yo, Wendy's, uh, Forever 21, they were making marketing use out of her intellectual property. So that's why it's like, bro, like. Oh, I get what you're saying. Oh, because people were making Hot Girl Summer shirts. Yeah, son. It's not just, yeah, bro. It's like. Anytime you see that phrase, like, they got to pay that girl, son. She's getting the bag for that. That's very smart. They did this with YOLO, too. I'm sure. Yeah, there's a lot yeah, of when shit. Yeah, when um that song came out, mm-hmm. fucking uh, Drake was commenting on those fast fashion places going like, yo, you can't just be saying this shit. But mm-hmm. I don't think he actually did anything. Yeah, I'm sure. That's what I'm saying. That's why LeBron's trying to trademark. He's trying to get paid even more money. For Taco Tuesday. For Taco Tuesday. Rocking Taco Tuesday on a Friday evening. Tuesday. Actually, no. Speaking of LeBron, too, of uh, just weird things involving him. Um, mm-hmm. So you saw the Seventeens, right? Mm-hmm. Did we discuss them last episode? No. So the Seventeens came out. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not really mad at him. I I like him better than his last couple models. Not mm-hmm. that I'm saying I'm going to wear him or anything, mm-hmm. but I do like him better than the last couple. Uh, but <laughs> they're introducing the knit posit. Yeah, no. How many words are they just going to combine? To make new technology. I mean, bro, that's what they doing out here, man. The fucking knit posits, man. I don't know, man. Well, I, the f- so I guess it's just there's like these pods that are in like by the ankle area, and mm-hmm. they have these two ones on the bottom too. Mm-hmm. But it's like how many the f- the posit was supposed to be? It's a like a mold. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's like mm-hmm. a. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about something being called knit posit? <sighs> bro, Nike's gonna add, Nike adds on. They they create whatever you know whatever they can. For I don't know I don't I don't know I don't really feel a way about it. I, they're not really well received by a lot of people. At least the first colorway has been well well received. So we're gonna see how they got it. How yeah. They so I mean I guess it's an evolution from the Battle Knit 2.0 upper. Mm-hmm. And so I mean I don't know it's uh it's like heat molded yarns and shit. I guess they're super durable. I I just want to be able to try all these things on because the marketing is not getting me. But go, I do want to try them. Go to your local Nike and try them on. I know. Did you see the video I put in the Discord of uh, the Hyper Adapt lacing? Yeah, I did. Yeah, what did you think about those? I thought those were cool. They are. They're they're fucking good, man. I like them. And so, mm-hmm. I mean, for those uh, listening and not in the Discord, go go in there and check it out if you haven't or mm-hmm. want to get in. But um, it seems like you have to do it from a button because the guy in the video is nowhere near his shoe. His mm-hmm. hands are not touching his shoe at all. Mm-hmm. So I think it's all from the phone. Yeah. Like, there's no option to even do it. On the fucking shoe itself. Mm-hmm. That's weird. That you know? is weird. Because what if? All right. So what if you don't have your? Mm-hmm. You know, you get what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like, what if you're away from your phone? I know what you mean. I yeah. know. I don't know. There might be something on the shoe. I don't know. I didn't see it when I was looking for it. No one said anything. So mm-hmm. that's just weird. No, I know. I don't want to have to have my phone in order to wear my shoes. That's that's why a lot of people are scared about the technology. Yeah. But it's really, it seems like really good technology. I mean, it's definitely cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> just, I don't, like, <laughs> now I gotta have my, I, I've, I'm already attached at the hip to my phone. I don't need it to lace my shoes, dog. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, I put the reminder on Instagram how long I'm on there, because I don't want to be over on there for more than a half hour a day. Mm-hmm. Dude, it's like noon, and I get the f- fucking notification. <laughs> I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Mm-hmm. Now I have to have my fucking shoelace? From my phone, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I need to get rid of this thing. Mm-hmm. I don't want this. This is, I need less phone, more life. More <laughs> life, right? Less phone, more life. Is that the name of the episode? Less phone, more life. There we go. Speaking of new phones, iPhone 11. We with it? No. No. All no, right. we talked about it last week. Remember? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, uh, speaking of uh, good sneakers, uh, Feli is bringing back the uh, is bringing back. The Grand Hill Twos. Uh, I don't know if anyone's actually going to play in these, but I actually like these shoes a lot. Man, I had those shoes when I was a kid in the 90s, and man, did I fucking love them. Did you ball in them? Uh, or you just warm? them? No, I just warm. 
I was maybe I did play. I mean, I probably played ball in them. I played ball in everything, man. As a kid, I played ball in and ones, mm-hmm. Reeboks, and then in high school, mm-hmm. I was Rasheed Wallace and strictly wearing Air Forces. Oh, really? Yeah, never made fun of me. Hmm. <laughs> Everyone was like, "Dude, don't play in forces." Don't play in forces. I'm like, yeah. "What are you talking about?" Yeah, playing ball, basketball, and force ones are are fucking hard. Yeah, I mm-hmm. did it though. Mm-hmm. I did it. Everyone was like, "Dude." Buy some shoes. I'm like, no, no, these are my. These are my. These are my ball kicks. These are my motherfucking basketball things. Junior year of high school, I had two pairs of air. No, three. I had three pairs of Air Forces. I had the clean, clean one from mm-hmm. when I for like going out and shit. Mm-hmm. Then I had my school pair that I wore to school, and then I had my basketball pair. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I had a. Uh, that was the first shoe I think I had multiple pairs of, same color. Let's see these shoes, man. Yo, this goes to show you. I think, yo, for if you grew up in the '90s, if you were like, you know, you know, ten year or uh, less than ten years old in the '90s, you had the pick of all basketball. I mean, every company had something you could Some like. Some fire. Fila, Nike, Adidas. You know, everyone, everyone, Converse. You know, I remember uh, Grandmama Larry Johnson. I remember wearing his sneakers. You had your fucking pick, bro. Avia. Avia, y- Avia shoes are fire. Yeah, Eton- uh, Etonics. Uh, oh, Etonics are fire too. Yeah, Etonics. Av- Yo, old Avias are the fucking shit. Mm-hmm, Those mm-hmm. are the basketball shoes I love. Mm-hmm, I- mm-hmm. They don't make that shit anymore. Now they just make like fucking Skecher ripoffs, mm-hmm. which is <laughs> they're they're already a ripoff. <laughs> it's just like Jesus Christ, dude. Um. Oh, and then um, you know what? Just to all right, we're just throwing out random topics, guys. Mm-hmm. Sorry, we're. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Gangstar is coming out with another album. Hold up one second. Yo, yo, Phil, Phil. Hey, Phil. I'll be in the next. We'll be in the next. Okay, we'll, we'll wait for a few more guys. All right, cool. Bye, Phil. Yeah, guys, it's basketball. Basketball season starting. We're in the car. I'm about to go play ball with some of my good friends. Um, so, one being Phil. One being Phil. I like Phil. All right, young God Phil. Yes, sir. Um. Yeah, so No, but did you hear the new Gangstar song? No, I did not. Dude. <gasps> made me so happy. Really? It's unreleased uh Guru Versus, mm-hmm. which is why it's a Gangstar. Okay. But it's, it, the single came out for the album that's about to come out. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know about you. I have a special place in Gangstar in with me because I growing up thought they were from Boston because of Guru. Because of Guru. DJ Premier is from Texas. Mhm. Guru's from Boston, but it's a New York group because they started in new york they came together here so it's a new york group but okay. growing up i just heard guru was from boston mm-hmm. so i just claimed them like they were Lord boston God. got you you see i'm trying to push boston everything i'm like dominique wilkins fucking he's he played for he's a celtic that's hilarious. antonio brown he's a patriot that's funny gang star from boston it's a boston group <laughs> anything to, to get fucking benzino out you of get, the top five get, from boston oh uh, <laughs> man good old zeno yeah, no, but dude, dude, it's tight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It sounds like he recorded it like last week. Really? Yeah, like the fucking quality is primo. The content didn't age. Mm-hmm. And J Cole's the on the track. I didn't actually care for J Cole's verse, to be honest. Okay. But uh, yeah, dude, go check that shit out. Cause I love Premier. Have had uh, the pleasure of meeting him and speaking with him briefly. Mm-hmm. But he's fucking. He's a fucking cool guy. I like Premier a lot. I like Premier as well. Premier beats of the shit. And my probably favorite producer, him, Alchemist. Uh, I like Scott Storch. Scott Storch, word. What about Young Chop, man? Who the fuck is that? Young Chop on the beat. Uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, Chief Keef. Oh, wait, he's a drill guy. Yeah, drill guy. Oh, I never really got into drill. Not gonna never lie. got into drill. No, I fuck with Chief Keef though. I love Chief Keef. Speaking of Chief Keef, we got Takashi Six Nine in the news. Oh. <laughs> Did you have, have, are you really following that? So, yeah, I am. He's gonna. <laughs> I posted a meme of um mm-hmm. him on the stand going, "Hey yo, boom!" So, uh, mm-hmm. did you know that StockX sells fake sneakers? Mm-hmm. I've never gotten so many responses to an Instagram story. Yeah, bro. People don't even like sneakers or who know who Takashi is. Mm-hmm. I think it was the so I boom that mm-hmm. got him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, not a good, not a good look. Here's a tip, guys. If you if someone says so, I boom. The next thing out of their mouth is probably bullshit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> it's mm-hmm. probably bullshit for mm-hmm, sure. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but I like how the internet 
uh, thought that he said that uh, Cardi B and Jim Jones were in the tra- <laughs> Train Nine Gangsta Bloods? Yo, yo. Uh, listen. Which, I don't know how they got that. The transcript, there's videos. How is there videos? Listen, you heard you heard Jim Jones uh, uh, on the phone talking about super violating, bro? No, I didn't yeah, hear that. Yeah, it's not a good look. And then as I was listening to, uh, I was listening to uh, Jim Jones, uh, uh, one, I just happened to be listening to this random song, right? And this is how it begins. Hold on. This is Nine Trey News. Treyway. Oh. This is this song is from. This is like from 2008. Oh, this is from like 2008. Let's start again. What album is that? Oh. Product of my, this is nine trade. I mean, listen, guys. I'm not. Listen, I'm not into the gang stuff. But when no, Tekashi, me and Lawrence have stated that we're not street guys. But when when I heard when I heard that Takashi was like he was Jim Jones was uh uh uh, uh, uh he's part of the you know Treyway or he was he was affiliated with those guys. I was like, damn. And then I heard, I just randomly played that song, and he opens up with, this is wow. Jim Jones from Nine Trade News. And I was like, well then. And this is 10 years ago. So, I mean, you know. like That's I said, either a crazy coincidence or, damn, dude. Yeah. So, I mean, the moral of the story here is, man, when you get, like, a lot of these rappers, they get hot off of a song that goes viral. And, you know, they are, they're really into the street stuff. And uh, boom, and then you got shit like this that comes out, and now all these guys are indicted and for racketeering and all this other crazy shit. And there you go, man. So, ah, uh, yeah, bro. Damn, yeah, he was really. So yeah, so I feel like you know these uh, Takashi is uh, man, it's not a good look right now. No, so. it's not a good look. Same way that uh, how KFC is trying to get fucking people to eat donut chicken sandwiches. Not a good look. Donut chicken sandwiches. Not a good fucking look. That is so gross, man. Did you try it? No. Why not? Because I value my life. <laughs> That's why I'm getting back into the gym. I value my life. <laughs> this is Lawrence Deloach with Nine Trade News. <laughs> <laughs> nine trade news is what was it? What does that mean? Nine, tra- like, I'm all right, reporting here for <laughs> representing nine, yeah, maybe try away, uh, 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 allegedly. So, <laughs> damn, uh, sneakers just dropped. Uh, uh, sneaker pass had uh, more uh, MCA off white ones for Chicago and Chicago only today. Oh, yeah, I was just driving, and I happened to see that. Um, yes, he looks at the sneaker app while he drives, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's what I do. Uh, Jordan also dropped a, a pair of Jordan 8s, their white and red orbit. They, uh, I like those. You do, yeah. Ah, uh, no, I do not like those. <laughs> Wait, why? Just what the the yellow and the pink and the blue it, it's like kind of is white and then it's like pink, blue, yellow. They look fake. They do kind of look fake. They um, look like something I would see back in you know two thousand and two, and you'd be like, oh man, I'm not buying these fake shit. I like them because they remind me of Dyson design. Mm. Mm-hmm. Dyson, um, if you guys aren't familiar, is a vacuum company, mm-hmm. and what they do is that they basically have a monotone, cro- like a gray uh, silhouette that they make, or you know, they, their color tones are very gray. And then they use pop colors like a purple or like a red yeah. on the key design elements of mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. So like the ball, that the, one of the selling points of the ball, you know what I mean? Because the way it rotates, it's spinning on a diamond shit. It, mm-hmm. That's like that would be like the purple part, or like the special hook handle thing will be purple, or oh. whatever. Oh, they, oh, they, they need one more. Oh, no, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo, Phil, you guys need one more. Are you good? All right, cool. All right, yo. Yeah, this is karaoke hour. Karaoke, baby. I'll see y'all in a couple minutes then. All right. Bye again, Phil. I miss you. Shut up, man. Damn, man. You don't even know these people. These people are going to punch you in your mouth. All right, so. They're going to do shit. They are. Stop annoying Phil. All right, so. Um, is Phil good? I could take Phil. Phil's pretty good. I like Phil. Phil's All right, Phil will fuck me up. I'll leave Phil on. Yeah, Phil. Phil's in the gym. All right, so. Um, <laughs> let's see. What were we talking about? Uh, we talking about those fake fucking Jordans, bro. Oh, no, they're, those are good. I like those. White and red orbit. I don't like them. They're more for, they're like a, they're a younger look. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're definitely a younger look. Did we talk about the uh, Air Max 90 undefeated? Did we talk about undefeated 90s? Yeah, last week we did. We did? Yeah, trash. All right. <laughs> yeah, I like them. You didn't like them. I don't like them. 
So yeah, man. I mean, you you said before that uh, there was a shock drop for the MCA Chicago Air Forces, mm-hmm. um, but the University Red and the Michigan uh, Dunks with the Verge Wire lacing. You call them Verge Wire? <laughs> the Verge Wire that's laces. Probably, that's probably the name. It's just two Verge Wire. <laughs> what do you think about those? I told you already. I hate these shoes. Yeah, I'm. Not, I mean, I actually they're not bad, but I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan, but they're not bad. I saw them on foot. Um, someone was wearing them. They were pretty high. I uh, saw them on foot. They look stupid. You know, I just feel like, you know, I feel like Virgil, you know, he's taking these existing designs and he's trying to do different things to them. Um, I don't know. I just, like I said, bro, I don't, I don't know if they're, um, I can't call it. I'm not a big, I mean, I like the, actually I like the Syracuse joints, bro. And, you know. So, um, we've brought this up before but Virgil's been quoted on saying like the whole idea behind the uh the uh the tag the mm-hmm. zip the, the, the zip tie and mm-hmm. some of these other weird shit that he's doing it's like so you could take them and apply them to other shoes mm-hmm. uh to make your own custom thing now mm-hmm. we agreed that was bullshit mm-hmm. he's full of shit mm-hmm. it's just yo he like one night he probably got like fucking baked to shit or something no he, he got baked I I don't know whatever he did he was on something when he fucking Made this verge wire I mean, shit. The verge, I mean, he's got to do something to different, 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 differentiate <laughs> them. Uh, the two uh, between you know the a normal dunk and um and that. So he did. There's he, plenty of things you could do. You don't need to poke holes in it and then put laces through. Yeah, I mean you're right. I mean it, it's, it's different. It's it makes it a little bit more. It definitely has you know makes it have a lot more shit going on. To me, okay, okay. This is what I'll say, mm-hmm. and I'll try to. Because I don't want to sound like I'm seeming too much like a hater. Because I, I actually, you know, as much as I shit on Virgil, like, you know, I can, I'm never mad at a guy who can get a check. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but these shoes, to me, are now in the same vein as how I look at people who wear Supreme. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, all right, I can't tell if you actually care about what you wear or, or you, you just, just want to be cool. Do you want to flex? Yeah. Because these fundamentally look stupid. Mm-hmm. Like, if you wear these, you have no taste. I understand. If you, to me, to me, this I is just me saying. I understand. So I look at someone wearing them, and they think they're actually fly, and like, mm-hmm. they're proud of the like. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I get it. I mean, what? I mean, what are your thoughts? Um, like I said, they're they're different. I mean, uh, the shape of the shoe is is, is terrible. It's yeah. not like a regular dunk, but um, I think they're. Uh, we got to see how they are, man. You know, and once again, you bring that limited tag in, into something, people are gonna go crazy. Um, I want to see, you know, more product shots or shots of more feet. Uh, but, yeah, the lacing, it, it's its very, it's got a lot going on. And it's stupid. It, it's, it it definitely, yeah. It's, they stink. It's got, yeah, he said they stink. They stink. But they definitely have a lot going on. Look, the Futura ones I might be able to give you just because Fu- not only is Futura on the fucking shoe, mm-hmm. but they, they look a little more insane, which I don't know if the, it's I'm going against my argument, but the wilder it is, the more it makes sense to me. But like when you have like a, a simple color like University Red, or you do a Michigan, mm-hmm. put the Verge wire shit on it. I'm just like, are you guys, it's just yeah. the stupidest looking thing stupidest I've, I've thing. ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right about that. I agree with you on that. Um. So yeah, man. I don't know. Look, it's, guys, if you like them though, don't let my opinion take it away. You, Chris, I'm just the listener will stupid. not take your. They will not <laughs> stop. All right. So they will not be like, well, you know, Chris told me not to wear them. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. They're gonna be like, I'm gonna wear them because Chris told me not to. Um uh this is something that, you know, a lot of our listeners we need to listen to. Uh, we need to understand about uh about this podcast. You know, a lot of us like to spend our, our money on streetwear and and um and Jordans and uh and speaking of Jordan, Michael Jordan has got fucking paid. He uh he sold uh part of his uh ownership in the uh Charlotte Hornets. The Hornets, which to me I will argue is the best branded basketball team in the NBA. It's one of them. Yeah. Yeah, he um he sold a piece of it and um He's kind of done, huh? It's not done. I mean, basically what he purchased it for I think like 10 years ago. Uh he paid uh he paid about 180 million dollars in 2010 to take a majority control of the the franchise when it was like the Bobcats or whatever. Yeah. And um and now he, uh, the in February the Hornets were estimated to be worth about 1.3 billion. So yeah, you know I think uh, it's which I don't trust anything Forbes says. Okay, well 
Did yeah. you see that rapper list? Top twenty. Well, uh, so we'll, well yeah. Let's. I mean, yeah, let's yeah. talk about Michael Jordan. Then you. Yeah. yeah. Let's not be. Yeah. Sorry. It, it's all good. Um. So, um, this the Charlotte is. They were losing money. Um. They're estimated to be among the thirty NBA franchises. They're supposed to be valued at twenty eighth. So I mean, uh, you know, this is definitely Michael Jordan's. You know, he got a little. You got paid a little bit for investing, which we all should and. I mean, like I said, you know, fucking Hornets, man. Lost, they lost their star. Pl- they're they're a cheap franchise, and uh, they lost their star player to the Boston Celtics. And, Hell yeah, uh, dude! And um, yeah, so it is what it is. He, like I say, he's still is a major owner, and he, he's still the face of the franchise. And he, you know, he's he makes a lot of money. So, um, what were you gonna say? No, uh, what I was gonna say is, uh, I. Yeah, I remember as a kid, I, I would wear Hornet stuff just because I liked them a lot. Yeah, I remember the Hornets were very uh, teal. And yeah, the purple. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Hornets, old Wizards. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, not Wizards, Magic, excuse me. Magic, yeah, um, with the pinstripes. Yeah, the pinstripes. Um, uh, the Raptors mm-hmm. with the Dino. Mm-hmm. Celtics, of course. Uh, and then Bulls. Those were, like to me, the top... F- mm-hmm. Branded teams. Mm-hmm. I mean, the Celtics were only in there because I'm from Boston, but I'm trying to think of the. Yeah, yeah, I was rocking a lot of fucking Hornets. Yeah. Yeah, man. Wait, did you ever wear another team just because you liked them? Of course, y- being younger. Yeah, of course, bro. Yeah. I never get mad at kids for wearing Mm-mm. their not their team. Mm-mm. We're your team, man. Yeah. But um, oh yeah, the Forbes, the rapper list. Mm-hmm, Part about. of the reason why I don't fucking deal with the Forbes one is because the numbers that they pull out for the rapper one, I'm like, that's there's no way that can be true. Really? Yeah. So uh, I'm this is off the top of my head, so don't hold me to this, but I'm pretty sure I'm correct. Kanye took number one mm-hmm. this year, which is the first time he's been number one. But they said he grossed like 130 million or something mm-hmm. this year, mm-hmm. which I don't. That's no way that's true. He definitely got way more than that. And for sure, number two, Jay Z. I think they clocked him in at like eighty million. Mm-hmm. There's no way he just netted eighty million this year. Mm-hmm. Out of all the side businesses he owned, no, if, they're, if they're talking strictly about music, if that's where they're getting the number from, like, okay, I can kind of see you, mm-hmm. just because the amount, like the, the entirety of your catalogs or whatever. But it there's no way because then they had some other people like it was like they rounded up. They were just going like point five mil. To the next person, and then up to Jay, and then it jumped to 130 for Yay. Yeah, see, highest paid hip hop acts. Mm-hmm. Drake at 75 million. Um, yeah, I see. Okay, Kanye West number 150 is 150 million in pre-tax. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So, um, oh, it was 150. Excuse me. That yeah, Jay at 81 million. So yeah, we I just pulled it up because this doesn't even make any sense. You got Pitbull at 18. I don't know how the fuck that works. Mm-hmm. Wiz at 18.5. Uh, no, there's no way it can be music because Wiz Khalifa hasn't come out with any music in fucking years. Mm-hmm. He just has his own weed shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he goes from Pitbull 20 to Wiz at 18.5 mm-hmm. and then Nas at 19, Future at 19.5, Sick, Birdman 16 at 20. See, they're just going up like half a mil. Up, yeah. Where do you get the... No, I don't believe any any of this shit at all. I understand. All right, well, I get it. Yeah. Childish Gambino is kind of surprising to me. Which, I guess not, no, because he had a couple smashes. Uh, it's funny that Nikki and Cardi are right next to each other, and Nikki made more than Cardi. <laughs> by a million. See, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. How is it... <laughs> I get it, bro. This is full of shit. Horse shit. Yeah. How's Birdman only making 20 mil? Mm. You're telling me Eminem made more than Birdman? Uh, we gotta find out if that's like for touring or whatever. That's I don't sport. know. I I that's I, what I'm saying. I looked to see if like where they got the numbers from, but it doesn't mm-hmm. make any sense. But um, all right, guys, I think we gotta wrap this one up. Lawrence gotta go play some basketball. I'm probably gonna watch him not pass to anybody and just shoot. There you go. There um, we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, like you know, like subscribe. Uh, do all the shit. Go on the Discord. Come hang out with us. Um, we got merch, guys. I don't know if you remember that, but you can go on Becky's website, remember to be happy dot com. Mm-hmm. We got some merch you can fucking buy. I made some cool shit for you if you want to wear it. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Like, subscribe. You know the whole thing. You, there you go. You get fucking whatever. You get it. Is there we, anything else? Nah, we good. All right, I'm gonna uh, watch you throw some uh, brick threes for a while. All right. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. Peace. All right, peace. <laughs>